I think you're just too vodka. Da, pravza. Can I get you anything else? Our down payment is Mr. Ochenko requested. Just like you said, every ten. What do you DC guys get your info straight from the White House? I'll take him when he gets to his car. You watch the deli. Make sure the other Russians can't make us. You got it. It doesn't concern you. Yeah? Give me the fucking case. Hey, who the fuck are you? Concerned citizen. You better be concerned, because I'm going to friggin' kill you. I'm going to try. I work hard as grocer to make something in your country. And then my cousin Nikolai, he arrives in the US and he tells me, if I no work for him, then I die. This is what he do to me. He cut my finger to make me believe him that he killed me. I understand. I'm offering you a way out, Andre. Clean. You get to pay back Rochenko and be free of him forever. We'll put you in the witness protection program, give you a new identity, a nice place to live. We'll even get you started in your own grocery business. What do you say? If you find out, he killed me. I won't let that happen. Okay. Okay, what you want me to do? There's a $20 million deal going down soon. And Rachenko's gonna be there. How do you know about this? We're pros, Andre. Unfortunately, what we don't know is where and when this deal's taken place. You tell us that, and you'll be free of Rachenko forever. Nico has not told me yet, but I know it's going to be in a few days in Los Angeles. on a flight to L.A. first thing tomorrow morning. And call the Metro Police and let them know that we're going to do a briefing at the DEA headquarters. You got a brother down there, don't you? Yeah. Hostage involved. 
Respond code 32646 West Spring Street. 10 4, I'm on it. I got three armed perps in there holding the owner of the antique store. All right, I'm going in. Jack, try to stay with the tactical procedure, all right? Don't worry, Commander. I'll make sure we don't need any body bags. You're at the store. I'm coming in. Hold on. Just want to talk. No trick. You in charge? What the fuck's it to you? Cut your losses. You'll be back out in the street in a couple of months. Just lay down your guns. <gasps> or guns? <clears throat> Whatever you say. Legend Big Shot's gonna bless us with his presence, huh? I asked him to stay with us. Oh. You still have the hearts for my little brother? Huh? Jack. Stay home tonight. You can't. I'm working a second shift tonight. What's up? You trying to make a lieutenant? Days more, right, Pop? Agent White, am I right? Rinsky, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Lieutenant Evans, Metro Narcotics, Special Agent White from our Washington office. Nikolai Rodchenko, Belgrade, Russia. Former KGB, serviced in LA about 24 months ago with legal work visas. He owns an import export business right here in Los Angeles. I know this guy. We took a look at him last year on a tip. His business is clean. That's right. His import business is clean. 
but his real business is running drugs. Lots of them. He's only going to get bigger and more powerful unless we stop him. Rodchenko's creating a new Russian mafia. And he's hiring ex-KGB to buy and distribute all over the West Coast. KGB? That's right. Because of Glasnost, they're running around like loose cannons looking for scores. So what's your plan, Agent White? Catch Rodchenko in the act. He's got a major buy going down with his new recruits. These guys are pros. Real pros. I got an informer working inside. Предложить что? Ну, конечно, да. Да. You don't look well, cousin. <laughs> Allergies. <laughs> And your trip? Our friends were very happy to make down payment. I was wondering if uh, the shipment uh, has reached the U.S. Very soon. Why do you ask? No, no reason, but uh, we only have a few days uh, and, uh, well... Why don't you get some rest, cousin? You look like shit. Yes. Yes, Nico, I, I, I will do that. Thank you. same anymore. He doesn't talk to me. Maybe it's the job. I can do that to you. No, no, it's not the job. He's married to the job, not me. Over time, double shifts, we never see each other. Nice, no, strange. It's... I'll talk to him. No. Kevin, no. No, that'll, that'll only make it worse. Come on, let's go see your dad. Guess who's here? Mm. Hello, Dad. Kevin. Oh, 
like uh, DEA people keeping you busy? Yeah. Here. Your brother's making quite a name for himself. First through the door, just like you taught us. Jack's a very busy boy. How you doing, Dad? Well, me and my arthritis were on a first-name basis with old Mr. Darby. Want a shot? Great. So, what's a DEA paying these days? Not enough. It's a pretty nice suit, Cap. Yeah, he's a regular big shot now, right, Cap? Got the master's degree, the whole nine yards. Well, you could have gone to college, Jack. <laughs> yeah. Only I was missing with the grades. Besides, one of us had to get out of town. He had a DEA scholarship. I got to take care of Pop. So what case brings you to L.A., Kev? Russian gangsters. Russians? Over here? Yeah, ex-KGB, running drugs. No shit. In my backyard. And that's right, in your backyard, Jack. <laughs> yeah, there's a major buy going down in a few days. Except that I'm gonna crash a little party. How much are we talking about? 20 mil. <sighs> Whoa. Well, it looks like I'm on the wrong side of the law. Need some help with these Russians, you let me know, all right? I think I have everything under control. Thanks. I think you'd be better off letting Jack help. I mean, he has an eye for these things, don't you, Jack? Why don't you have another drink, Pop? No, I think I'll turn in instead. Hey, let me give you a hand with Hell that. no. Thanks. Here, let me grab that bag for you. Dad's putting away the booze like, like he owns stock in the company. How long has he been like that? About a year. You don't want him to come around more often. What's that supposed to mean? Don't take it personal, little brother. Hey, I've been working on a couple of moves. Feel like sparring? I'm a little tired. How about tomorrow? Come on. It'll be like old times. I'll go easy on you. Still quick, huh? Quicker. It's one of the new moves I've been working on. That's good. I like that you one. You like that one? I got one for you, too. That's good. It's not bad, huh? Yeah, help me up, will you? Shouldn't drop your guard, little brother. You can get in trouble that way. <laughs> What's your problem, Jack? Fuck you, Kevin. Now we're even. We're not ever gonna be even.
time. I need to know exactly when and where the buy is taking place. Yes, yes, I'm meeting with Nico tonight. <laughs> but if Nico find out what I do, then he kill me for sure. Nothing will happen to you, okay? Look, you're not wearing a wire. I've kept surveillance off Nico. Unless you open your mouth, there's no reason for him to suspect you. Okay? okay. I give you my word, Andre. who the snitch works for. We're going to be partners, Nico. Sergey. White Sergeant, Metro Division. Hmm. You've made a big mistake coming here, Sergeant. No. You made the mistake trusting this guy. You see, because of him, the police know all about your little deal. Why do you think I'm here? Who's this man? Looks like a cop. He's a, a buyer. Buyer? You make business deals on your own now? No, Nico, of course not. You don't understand. <laughs> the photos were taken this morning. The other man in the picture is a drug enforcement agent. Your boy here is working for him. That is a lie. He is a liar. <laughs> Your little business deal, it's gonna get you busted. And what is it exactly that you won, Sergeant White? Oh, a small percentage, even one million dollars. <laughs> <laughs> one million. Keep the police off your back, which won't be easy once they find out their informant's missing. 
What if I choose to expose you? Well, then it's gonna be your word against mine. And mine carries a little more weight with the police department. So, do we have a deal? You got both, Sergeant. I like that. So we'll have a deal. Good. I'll be in touch. Good work. Come on, Andre. Hey, hey! Keys, motherfucker. Taking the car. Give me the keys. Give me the keys. The guy like you doesn't need a gun. I'll break your ass in half. Give me the fucking keys. Changed. Come in, Agent White. Do you copy? Hal, what's up? We've got a serious problem. Better come down to the corners. On my way. U.S. Customs, Officer Sirkin speaking. I'm calling to check on the shipment. Yes, Mr. Rodchenko. Your goods have arrived, and I will personally make sure they clear customs. Oh, thank you, my friend. They will arrive in Los Angeles by truck, as you requested. A token of our appreciation is in its way. Thank you, Mr. Rodchenko. Friggin' Ventura Freeway. I gave him my word. Don't blame yourself. How did Rachenko find out, huh? What the hell happened? We got bad news. Police department's in on it now. Joint task force. What? Andre's homicide happened in their backyard. 
Section 139A says we can't move in Rachenko without him. What next? Hmm. Lieutenant Evans is expecting us. I know why you're here, Jack. The answer is no. This is a joint task operation, and teamwork isn't exactly your specialty. I want in on it. I'm well aware of who your brother is, Sergeant, but this isn't your area. Come on, Lieutenant. You need good people on this. Now, I am asking you as one professional to another. All right, Jack. But I don't want any cowboy stuff on this, you hear me? You got it. So you were working on a cover agent work? Funny, that's good. What are you doing here? He's part of the team. You don't have a problem with that, do you, Agent White? Good. Then let's continue. We're going to put Rodchenko under 24 hour surveillance. We don't want to scare him off. That's the first thing Rodchenko will be expecting after what's transpired. Do we have any idea how the drugs are coming in? Not yet, but Rachenko can't afford to sit on them either. All right, here's how this will work. I'll run the operation from here. Special Agent White, you'll be first in charge in the field. You two can work together since you get along so well. I prefer to work with my own team. Whether you like it or not, Agent White, Andre Atonoff's homicide placed us first in charge. So you can either get with the program, or you can pack your bags and head back to D.C. This is my case, Jack. You want another medal, use somebody else, not me. What the hell is the problem with us partnering up? But you want to leave, Kevin? I'll follow. Don't fuck with me on this, Jack. Understand? Yeah. So where are we going? Funeral. Funeral, why? Andre had a sister. Look, I, I gotta change my clothes. I'll, I'll meet you downstairs in a minute. Yeah. Yes, me. Look, you're gonna be watched around the clock. Wiretaps will be set up within the hour. Right. We're checking on Andrea's sister. She will not talk. Just watch your ass, Miko. But I have you to do that for me. Make the circle now. <laughs> <laughs> Time to go. Sorry to bother you. Can we step outside? I need to ask you some questions. Go away from me. I told you I know nothing. <laughs> Why are you bothering my family? Who am I? I'm the guy that's gonna nail your ass. I think not. Think again. Let's get out of here. Listen to your friend. 
and leave this place. Let's go. Now. Come on. Get your hands off me, Jack. Oh, well, what are you gonna do in there, Kevin, huh? Kill the guy, blow the whole deal? That'd be real good. That's smart thinking. Let's move along that track. Let me drive you home. Oh, please. Come on. This is a wasted trip, Kevin. Andrea's sister is not gonna talk. Jacob's got her spooked. Maybe. You know, I've been thinking. Maybe we could get Dad to join AA. Pop, Minnie's got a drinking problem? Forget about it. Besides, Lori and I have already tried. She used to be getting worse. Don't you think I know that? Well, maybe there's something we can do about it. You know, big, bright college boy comes into town, got the answers for everybody's problems, right, Kevin? Oh, Jack, come on, give me a break. You know, the same blood runs through your veins that runs through mine. Okay, fine. Why don't you let Pop come live with you? Anything else you want to get off your chest? Yeah, Laurie's real concerned about you. Yeah, well, that's between Laurie and me and not you, all right? Listen, all I'm saying is, Jack, don't let your career take precedent over your family. That's all. Jesus. Can we go inside? Thank you. My brother? You remember me? Cockroach. Wait here.
You want a piece of me? Hit me. Try the food. Let's go get the girl. Told you she wasn't gonna talk. San Francisco, Seattle, and Portland confirmed for the 15th. Address. Uh huh. <clears throat> Go ahead. Nine eight three two Highland Avenue. Yeah. Yeah, I got it. Asshole. I'm not convinced Sergeant White can handle his brother. What about those men following us? Relax, Sergei. First, we take Marina home. But they will know where I live. Exactly. And when they come sniffing around like dogs, I bet I know who will be in charge. Off the woman, 1946 Alder Park. What's your position? Headed east on Olympic near uh, Century City. All right, stay on. What the hell's he doing here? A prick's getting his car washed. Look clean to me. Tell when they get out. Got it. this. Shit. Yeah. 
Okay, they've vanished. Friggin' rolls is still here and everything. Great. Now we gotta find this son of a bitch. Why don't we talk to the woman that was with Rochenko? That's a good idea. Get on it. Both of you. No, I can't. It's my anniversary. I'm taking my wife out to dinner. What? It's better I go alone anyway. We go in like an army, the woman will never talk. All right. I bet those cops are still at the car wash. Oh, what a shame. Because now we won't surface until after our business is done. So, this is the theater that is going to front our activities. No one will suspect a thing. Get used to it, Sergei. It will be our home until Friday. Miss Jesnica? Yes? I'm from the Drug Enforcement Agency. I'd like to ask you some questions. <laughs> I don't do drugs, officer. What's your relationship with Nikolai Vachenko? It's my business. Well, if you prefer to come downtown and talk about it, I can accommodate you. Come in. Give me a moment to get dressed, okay? Yes, Nikolai. Sergei, it is time to let Agent White know what a Russian circle feels like. Hurt him. Hurt him bad. I know Mr. Rochenko for approximately five years. Is he in some sort of trouble? Do you know where I could reach him? I use a telephone. Nikolai travels a lot. When he's in town, I see him. Now, if there is nothing else, I really must go. What time is our reservation? Eight o'clock, honey. Let's hurry up. We don't want to be late. Okay, all right. Okay, okay. Um, I was, uh, <laughs> I was going to wait till later, but, uh, what the hell? Happy anniversary. <sighs> Go on, open it. <clears throat> It's beautiful. It's also very expensive, Jack. Oh, you think I've been working so much overtime? But, honey. Hey. save every penny for a rainy day and end up like my old man. I want things to be different for us. So hurry up, honey. We don't want to be late. Whoa. It's a nice dress. You like it? Yeah. The scarf's a nice touch. Yeah, Kevin gave it to me. Kevin gave it to you? 
Take it off. What? I said take it off. Don't be ridiculous, Jack. It makes you look cheap. You just said you liked it. Just take it off. Maybe you should go alone. Yeah, fine. Why don't you and Kevin go out and celebrate our anniversary? I'll go out and find a cheap hooker wearing the same scarf. Jack! Do you understand me? Jack! Get away from me! Jack! What the hell's going on here? Laurie. Don't you ever touch me again! Get away from me! I'm sorry. I'm at the Russian Athletic Club, 1232 South Grandy. I copy. I don't want to take any chances here, Agent White. 10 4. So wait for backup. White, you copy? White! <sighs> yes, Jack. It's Evans. Your brother tailed Rodchenko's girlfriend to the Russian Athletic Club, 1232 South Grandy. I don't like the way he's handling this, Jack. Yeah, yeah, uh, I'm on it. like Russian games, Conrad. This is the Russian circle. You fight each one of my men one at a time. And if somehow you get out of that one piece, then I may let you leave. Come <laughs> on. 
You all right? Yeah. Jack. Lori? What happened? Jack do that? I can't continue like this, Kevin. this? My anniversary present. Guess I'll have to return it. Jack couldn't afford this. I told you, Kevin, all he does is work overtime. That's a lot of overtime. What are you saying? I don't know, but everything Jack makes in one year is right here. Where do you get this? Is it yours? My best piece. Stolen! Sergeant, you stay away from my family. I will handle my brother. Is that clear? Perfectly clear. Can we discuss our plan now? That's why you're drinking, isn't it, Dad? You can't deal with the fact that he's dirty. You knew he was in trouble, didn't you? We don't have to ruin his career. He can quit. He can leave gracefully. <laughs> Bullshit, Dad! What if it goes deeper than this? What if this is only the tip of the iceberg? Kevin, he's your brother. I don't know who my brother is anymore. What is it? It's an offshore account. 9832 Highland.
Here's a perfect insurance box. You two, watch him. It's time for us to leave. Where is white? Where the hell are both whites? You just have something to tell us, don't you? Easy, Jack. You want Rachinko or not? And she knows where he is and where the deal's going down. Don't you, bitch? Back off, Jack. Well, I'll break your fucking arm. Where? Shipping dogs. Where? San Pedro. Harbor Pierce. All right, we're rolling. Let's go. You stay on her until this thing is over. Jesus Christ, what the hell happened to you? She had a knife. You need a doctor. You can forget it, Lieutenant. I am not missing this bust. Get that stitch and meet us at the docks. Little makeup, the right actress. They'll buy anything. Got one for me? <laughs> I'll pay you 20 for a smoke. Yet. Right pocket. Just don't take the hundred. <laughs> <laughs> Chenko. Power. Sun Valley Power Station. They're here. Move into position.
All is well, Sergeant. Oh, about right now, the task force should be invading the Queen Mary. So how? Where's Special Agent White? Where's Rochenko? This is Unit 6. There's nothing here either. This looks like a dead end. There's nothing on this side either. It's all clear. Nothing happening here. 10-4. Unit 8. You got anything? Unit 8. Unit 8. This is Unit 8. It's all clear on this end of the war. The trip was good. Yes, Mr. Acheco. Welcome our friend from Seattle. Portland. Remember, my friends, this is only the beginning. Duh. Held them with the cars. I'll take my money now. Certainly, Sergeant. You were worth every penny. Well, fellas, my fee has just gone up to $20 million. On the sofa, Serge. Greed is a terrible thing, Sergeant. Well, you two can discuss it in hell. Now. Put your hands behind your head and get on your fucking knees. You're predictable, Sergeant. I hope you have had a good life. Because it is now over. Nico, don't even think about it. 
Jack, I can make you very, very rich, man. I already am a rich man, Nico. As soon as I kill you, Serge, nobody will ever know. <laughs> Put the money down and get out of here. Go on. Get out of here. Go on. You're in it all the way, aren't you, Jack? The antique store is small time compared to this. You fingered Andre, didn't you? No, Kevin. I killed him. Now, come on, he's a fucking drug dealer. I take from the bad guys and I keep it, all right? What the hell happened to you, Jack? You were a good cop. Now I'm a smart one. Smart enough to take that money in the RV and get the hell out of here. I guess I'm the big shot now, huh, Kevin? You come visit me in South America. Is that what this is all about? Because huh? I feel sorry for you, man. You are blind. You had it all, Jack. Everything. Lori, career, dad behind you. You don't buy those things with money. And you, you just threw that all away. You stay away from me, Kevin. You stay the hell away from me. I can't do that. Nobody's stopping me, Kevin. Nobody. <laughs> Jack, hang on. You take the money. Would you shut up? Just hang on, you're not gonna die. Jesus. I should have never left LA. Jack. I'm sorry, Kevin. Jack. You. You make it right with, with Lori and Pop, okay? Jack. For their sake. Jack, Jack, hang on, Jack!
tell me just what the hell you and Jack were doing here? Jack wanted to do it alone, his way. It's all Lair Evans, the drugs, the money. Jack made us look good. Only he paid for it with his life. You handled everything with dignity, Kevin. I'm very grateful. Wish you could have done more for him.